Hello Evil Softman here, back for another vid. Alright, thought about putting the control down, didn't work. Right, okay. Uh, it's been a little week or something. Uh, after the wrestling, basically I had a nightmare of that because I had to re-record part two and then it takes on my mum and dad's internet about four or five hours to upload the video. It's said like 45 minutes as it does here. So yeah, didn't really feel up to it. Saying that, that was the same kind of thing I used to do all the time uh, when I was back in Carnoustie when I first started the channel and everything and I used to do that every night so God knows what I was on that that kind of way. But yeah, it, it's been a little while but I thought I would show you a few little pickups. Um, yes, the first one. I got this for like £10.41 or something. It was about ten fifty or something. And then about, about £4 shipping. But I thought for a PS3 game, that's absolutely astounding. Especially such a good one. And this is Valkyra Chronicles. Now this is an absolutely awesome game. Uh, it's all about uh, strategic fighting and everything. They're like, have a war and you can you strategically place your fighters all over kind of the map like in little cityscapes and everything, and then it's kind of like turn-based. Well, not really turn, it is turn-based, but you're actually moving the characters, you're actually taking the shots, it's just that you have specific movements and specific uh, amounts of bullets that you can use per turn and everything. Um, and it's all about that, and then you can use tanks and everything later on and as the battles expand and everything, and it's really, really good. It's just been very, very overlooked. It's just got a sequel on the PSP, uh, which only came out like about a month ago, which I hear is not as good. And then they've announced a thir another sequel, which is on the PSP as well, which pissed off a lot of people because they wanted the sequel on the PS3. But the graphics in it are very kind of anime style, but very, very well done. And it's just, I really should do a video of it. I haven't even opened it. You can still see it. it's still sealed. Um, but I got that off of Amazon. It was really dirt cheap. Really good deal. Next is another addition to my boxed N64 collection, which is Yoshi's Story. And there we go. And put it up that way. And it's in really good nick. It came in a jiffy bag, it's kind of creased the top there a little bit. Um, but it's not horrendous and it's in good nick. Everything's in good nick, like the manual's in good nick. I just put it on there, test it, and it is really in good nick. Um, great story, great 2D platform on the N64, which was very weird because everything was going like 3D, but this was very much a 2D kind of platforming game, very stylized in the way it was the music in it is quite unique and a lot of the time you're trying to swallow like fruits uh like what and especially watermelons and everything to complete your levels because it has like a box goes around the screen and you fill this up by eating different fruits and you get special ending if you get all of them to be watermelon if i seem to remember right uh and then you can unlock different color Yoshis and they don't seem to do much apart from the black and white ones which are a nightmare to find in the first place because you have to unlock them and if you they die you lose them for the rest of the game so it's an utter nightmare of them but I played it uh, around about the time it came out about 98, 99 don't know if I got it lent off Cyberlanky or I took it into Global Video or something but I definitely had a play I definitely had it for a few days and I absolutely love that game. I'm a big fan of Yoshi games. Absolutely love Yoshi's Island on the SNES and Yoshi's Island DS, which is also really good. Um, the next one is something as a new console pickup. And it's something I already have, but a different version of it. And it is an N64. Now you're thinking, why would I buy another N64? Um, hopefully that will make it a little bit clearer. I actually know it won't. But it's a Japanese N64. And this was all it came with it. This was it. It was no cables, no games, no nothing. It was just this loose console. And I got the idea off of Dan W547. 
Uh, he had it two weeks ago. He or a week ago, week and a half ago, he had a package where he got and just the same kind of thing. It was a loose N60 Japanese N64 with no cables. And you're thinking, well, what's the point without the cables or anything? The thing with the N64 is all the power regulations are exactly the same. So I can plug my UK power adapter into it and it will work. And I can put my SCART cable in and it'll work. Um, I also put in my UK expansion pack and it works. So the thing with this though is the ports inside have not been cut. The tabs are still in there. So I can't play American games in this unless I actually go in there and cut them. Which I might do. I had a feeling when I was going to get a proper, like a Japanese one, I was going to get a proper boxed one. And I haven't, I don't know. I might do it, I might not. We'll see how it goes. But I thought I'll get a game to test it. And I thought, well, you have to really go with something you know quite well because you're going to go for the language barrier and everything. So I thought, might as well start with the first N64 game. And this is Mario 64 on the Japanese N64. Or Japanese version of it. Now, if you know your Japanese N64 stuff, you'll know there's two versions of this game. There's the version that came out when N64 was first released in 1996. And there is... The version that comes out that came out in 1997. Now, the version in 1997 was called the Shizo edition and is Rumble Pack enabled, which was something that never came out here. And there was also a Rumble Pack version of Wave Race as well. They both came out after the fact they were 97 and they just didn't release the updated versions in Europe or in the US. Now, there's something different that comes with the N64 games, I think, in Japan, and it's this kind of guide. It's like, shows you how the controls and everything work. It's like big blown up compared to like something in the manual. And you have that, and it shows you like all the button presses and everything to do all the moves and everything. So that's actually cr really quite helpful. Hopefully this has this in every kind of N64 game. So if I start buying other ones, then it's actually, Really, it'll actually be easy enough to see. If this, it's the same kind of thing, it's like it has with the manual, it'll have all this stuff in it as well, but it's all in color, which you'd expect. Um, try to think actually of Yoshi's story, was Yoshi's story in color? I bet not, because it's in PAL. The only issue of this was the box was a little bit damaged, because they put, they put it in a jiffy bag, and the backs are not as hard as the PAL copies, like they're not as fully pushed, so it doesn't, it squashes a bit more. But, yeah, there we go. That was my pickups and everything. Actually, just, just to check, I'm just going to flip. Actually, um, Yoshi Story's in colour as well, the PAL, the, PAL bot, the PAL manual, which is something weird. Very weird, <laughs> looking at all the stuff that G-Mate Fresh puts through. That's very, very weird to have a colour manual. Um, yeah. I'm going to put some more videos up this week. I've just, I'll have just i do a subscriber special, shout out special in the next few days because I've just hit 350 subscribers. I will be going through that and shouting out people that have been from the beginning. People that I'm pretty, uh, I would say, good friends with now on YouTube and people shout out channels that I really think people should be paying more attention to. So there we go. Also, I'm going to do like an update on the channel itself. I've got some ideas of where I'm going to go with uh, some things in the channels, especially with gameplay vids and that will probably come in another video as well as too late to do it with this one now. All right. So this is evil sloth man.